What's happening, party people from the fifth dimension? This is your homeboy, Angelo, out on the streets today, taking a walk through beautiful, palm tree-laden, blue sky, shining Southern California, right where all the magic happens. The magic happens where you happen, so make sure that you understand that principle. It's not where you are, it's where you at, with inside yourself, and life is a cabaret, y'all. Remember that, life is a party always celebrate sure we go through the tough times but that doesn't mean that we can't just feel into those and move forward with grace compassion towards ourselves and the understanding that nothing is permanent in this life that could be good that could be bad but i see it as good because you know whether you want to be happy or you want to be sad it's always a choice i make the choice for happiness look at these palm trees behind me are you kidding me Woo! beautiful day so we talked a little bit about resiliency in some of our past videos and today I'm going to be touching on that a little bit as well. We're going to be talking about how triggered you are, who are you blaming for your triggers, what are you blaming for your triggers, are you taking responsibility for your life, are you taking responsibility for how you feel, how you react to any situation. We talked about the idea of responsibility. Everybody wants responsibility. You know the saying, with great power comes great responsibility. The inverse of that is true also. With great responsibility comes great power. Look at these roses here, are you kidding me? Woo, rose arbor. Oh yeah. So, do you wanna look at it as like, well I have all this power, so man I have all this responsibility that I have to handle and that's, that's, I don't want all this responsibility or are you like, man, I've got all this responsibility but with all this responsibility gives me great power. So you're powerful. Remember how powerful you are. The potential is endless. Tap into it. Happiness is a choice just like sadness is a choice. Now, I hear what some people out there are going to say. There's always going to be people who are going to contest some of the things I say and you should. You should be uh, independent in thought you should think for yourself you should you know look at both sides of the coin or multiple sides of the coin life is like a hundred sided dice die and um be critical about everything that you think or that you think you think or that you think you might think so what does that mean with great power comes great responsibility my hat's gonna blow off here this wind is whipping woo wee that means that essentially you can look at anything as a good or a bad or you can just roll with it you know like I try to do most of the time but it doesn't always work out that way because we're human beings we're actually spiritual entities having a human experience which is amazing look at these flowers all around me are you kidding me the Sun is shining baby it's beautiful out here so the wind is blowing hard this dad hat wants to fly off my head it's all good. People are feeling good. I'm feeling great. Ooh. Fix my hat real quick. All right, that's a little bit better there. Keep it on for a moment longer. Anyhow, everything is in the eye of the beholder. These are things I've said many times. I repeat a lot of the ideas that I believe are principles to live by. We have more mindfulness we can separate ourselves from our initial knee-jerk reactions that we tend to have when we're not versed or practice in some kind of a daily ritual that reduces stress in our bodies or less triggered we can look at things and take a step back and be like hey i can be strong in this moment i don't have to be reactive in this moment of course we all react or maybe we should say we respond we all respond as we are responsible humans the ability to respond makes us responsible and wherever you are right now whatever you're doing at this moment right now maybe you're just sitting there flipping through maybe you're not even watching this who knows I'm making this video for myself because this reiterates to myself it reinforces with myself the things the values, the truths that I intend to live every day. I'm moving away from using the word want because want is a word of lack. And we're not lackluster over here in the 5D, baby. We're living, we're living in a frequency of love, abundance, 
valuing ourselves, self with C-E-L-L-F, all of our cells, trillions of cells that make us nourish them all daily. How we treat ourselves is how we treat ourselves. So make sure you're getting that good organic superfood nutrition into your body every day. Well, what's superfood? Superfood is real food, y'all. It's food that nourishes your body. It rids it of toxins that maybe you've accumulated from living in the sick world. Look at these jasmine flowers here. They smell so phenomenal. Ooh, this whole street is lit up with fragrance, natural fragrance. Stay away from anything that has fragrance as an ingredient and in the foods because that usually means it's poison. But look at all these flowers, these birds loving it. They love this tree. The bees love it too. So wherever the birds and the bees want to go, I'm going there too because that's what love is all about, baby. The birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees. I'm going to share with you guys real quick before I end this video, one of my favorite flowers, bushes, whatever you want to call it, this shrub of many beautiful flowers. Check this out. Let's come down here and hang with these beautiful flowers on a daily basis. So just sharing a little love, light, beauty, happiness, joy, abundance with you on this day. Make sure that your cup is full and when it overflows, share some of that love, light, abundance, and healing vibes with the people in your life. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Sending you lots of love. We'll talk to you next time. Peace.